So find yourself at the front of your mat. You can bring your feet together or hip distance apart. What you want is to really press down to your feet to find your feet on the ground, to feel grounded, to feel strong. And from there, we can then find a strong body. But it's important, especially nowadays with everything going on, to first of all, ground ourselves, feel steady, so that we have that strength to carry on with our lives, and in this case, with our practice. You want to bring your arms all the way back and down, and bring your head all the way back and up. Press down into the feet, reach out through the back of the skull, relax the muscles of the face, and breathe. Notice how you're breathing, whether it's a deep or shallow breath, whether you're breathing into your belly, into your rib cage, into your chest. If you're used to breathing into your chest, that's probably more shallow breath. So you want to teach yourself to breathe all the way down to the lower belly. So inhale all the way to your lower belly, and exhale, pull the lower belly back in, keep sit, standing up tall. Inhale into your lower belly. And exhale. Keep inhaling into your lower belly, notice what's happening to your rib cage. Exhale, notice how the ribs come back in. And try to hold the ribs in as you inhale deeply into your lower belly. And exhale, keeping the ribcage closed. Notice how probably you felt how the whole ribcage lifted up with that inhale. So that's what you want. Inhale and pick up the back bottom ribs. Keep the ribcage closed. And exhale, keep standing up tall. Relax the muscles of your face. We'll synchronize movement with breath. So inhale, bring the arms up. Reach the arms up. And exhale, bring your arms back to the sides. Notice if you've lost the whole ribcage engagement. So again, inhale, bring the arms up, but keep the ribcage closed. This might limit the movement of the shoulders. Your arms might be forward, that's fine. Exhale, arms by the sides. And try one more time, keep the ribcage closed. Inhale, the arms up, reach up, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, arms by your sides. Keep pressing the feet down, and feel how when you press big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts, and heels down, you lift up through the pelvic floor. So press down into the basis of the big toes, pinky toes, and into the center of the heels, and feel your glutes engaging and the pelvic floor lifting up. Keep pulling the ribcage in and lift up through the back bottom ribs. Inhale deeply, relax the eyebrows, exhale, keep standing up tall. Inhale the arms up, reach up, gaze up, hold the engagements, and exhale, fold forward, so fold over the legs. If at any point you need to bend your knees, you're welcome to bend your knees. Stay here and inhale, pick up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down, stay here, and exhale, just bring your chest closer to your shins. Press into the feet, bend the knees, and inhale, come back up, reach the arms up, gaze up, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. We'll start our practice with an OM. We'll make it an articulate O sound and we'll target the center of the chest. This week, we're focusing on heart. It's the fourth week of our lockdown, so every week we were focusing on one energetic center. This week, it's about the heart. It's about opening up our chest, and consequently, subsequently, opening up to life, opening up to grace, opening up to receiving all there is to receive. So target the center of your chest, stand up tall, inhale for OM. Oh. Shanti, peace. Bring your arms by your sides. Pull the shoulders all the way back and the shoulder blades down the back. And again, find the engagements. Every time the feet are on the ground, press the feet onto the ground. Feel the lift through the pelvic floor. Keep reaching out through the back of the skull, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Shiva Nanda salutations. 
Inhale the arms up, reach up and slightly back a bit. Exhale, bring your arms all the way down. Remember, you can bend the knees. Inhale, pick up the chest, bring the right foot back, the right knee down. Exhale, stay here, just bring the hips a bit further forward and you can come to your fingertips. And inhale, you can stay here or bring the arms up and back up and again. Exhale, hands to the ground, knees, chest, chin. So press into the hands, bring the knees down, the chest and the chin to the ground. Inhale, slide forward, press the toes of the feet down, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, and exhale, push into the hands, downward facing dog. Let's take a breath here, and this down dog, if you need to pedal the knees, you're welcome to. What you want is to stretch through the arms, widen the shoulder blades, and curl the tailbone up. And then inhale the right foot forward, bring the left knee down, push the, the hips forward. Exhale, stay here, you can come to your fingertips, open up the chest a bit more, and inhale, you have the option of bringing the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the front of the mat and bring the feet to the front of the mat, fold forward into Nasana, and then inhale, press into the feet and rise up, reach the chest up, the chin up, back bend, and exhale, arms by your sides, left side, press feet down, inhale, lift the lift floor, lift arms, lift chest, lift chin, and exhale, fold forward, remember you can bend the knees, inhale, the left foot back, keep the chest proud, Move the hips forward. Exhale, you can have to your fingertips and push the hips further forward. Keep the left glute active. Inhale, option to bring the arms up. You can always stay with the previous option. And exhale, hands to the ground, knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Keep your lower belly strong. Inhale, slide forward, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, press feet on the ground, and exhale, downward facing dog. Again, take a breath in your down dog, press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, and curl the tailbone up. You can always bend the knees to have some more access to that tailbone and really uncurl it up. Anterior pelvic tilt. Inhale the left foot forward, right knee down, push the hips forward. Stay here as you exhale, keep squeezing the right glute, keep the chest proud, and then inhale, you have the option of bringing the arms up, chest up, chin up and exhale, come to the front of the mat. Fold forward, pull the belly in, bring all the weight forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up, and back bend, and exhale, arms by your sides. Good, we'll go a bit faster, so inhale, come up again, faster with the movement turning. So exhale, fold down. The breath stays slow and deep. Inhale the right foot back, right knee down, and right away, if you choose to, bring the arms up. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, hands on the ground. Try to follow your breath. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, push downward facing down. And right away, inhale the right foot forward, left knee down, option to bring the arms up, and exhale, fold, front of the mat. Press feet down, inhale, rise up, reach up, pick up the lift floor, lower belly, pubis, chest, chin, and exhale, arms by your sides, left side, inhale the arms up, back bend, chin up, chest up, and exhale, fold. Keep the weight at the balls of the feet. Inhale the left foot back, knee down, hips forward, option to bring the arms up, and exhale, knees, chest, chin. Keep the lower belly in and forward. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, cobra pose, and exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, the left foot forward, option to bring the arms up, and exhale, Uttanasana at the front of the mat, forward fold. Press feet down and rise up, reach up, gaze up, and exhale, arms by your sides. Good job. Let's open up the hip flexors. Inhale, open up again, arms up, chest up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, the right foot back, right knee down, untuck the back toes, and push the hips forward. You want to really push the hips forward. The left knee comes further forward than the left heel. Keep the lower belly in. Option to stay here. You might always also 
already feel it on your hip flexor. Option to bring the hands to the thigh, pull the lower belly in, lift the lower belly away from the pubis, and then pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back, bring the chin in and round down. You'll feel it even more. If you're doing it right, that you want to really press down to the feet, squeeze the right glute, pull the lower belly in and up, and curl the upper back down. Two more breaths here. Inhale and exhale, maybe push the hips further forward. Inhale into the right hip flexor. And exhale, keep the lower belly in and lift it. Pressing to the feet, inhale, come back up. Come back so that you have a right angle with the front knee and a right angle with the hip, with the back knee. Inhale the arms up, reach up. And exhale, twist to the left. So hook the right elbow against the left thigh. You can stay here or option, tuck the right toes under and straighten the back leg. Keep the lower belly in and up to help you twist through the chest and through the shoulders. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and bring the hands to the center of the chest. Inhale here and exhale. Pull belly in, squeeze right buttocks. Inhale, come back to center, press into the feet. If your right knee is down, option to stay down or to lift it up. Reach up through the arms and exhale, bring the arms down, pyramid fold. Bring the back foot forward, straighten the legs. You can bring the hands higher up, as high as you need to, or keep the hands on the ground for three deep breaths. Keep pressing into the feet, squeeze the right buttocks forward, pull the lower belly in, and reach it forward for two. And one, press into the feet, pull belly in, and inhale, rise up, reach up, and exhale, bend the elbows, pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down, reach the chin up, and keep pushing the elbows back. You're pushing the shoulder blades together. The more you reach the chin up, the more you want to pull the shoulder blades down. Keep the legs straight, pull the belly in, Lift up through the back bottom ribs. Inhale, back bend a bit more. And exhale, forward. Hands to the ground, bend the front knee, and come back to knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, forward. Press the feet down, pick up the chin, and exhale back, downward facing the foot. Inhale, the right foot forward. Left knee down, and tuck the back toes. Option to stay here. Push the hips forward, feel the left soles. And then from here, if you want to bring the hands to the thigh, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back, pick up the chest, the chin, and then chin and round it. So keep that length through the lower back. Keep the lower belly picking up away from the pubis. The more you press the feet down, the more you'll squeeze the left glute forward. The more you push the hips forward, the more you want to pull the lower belly in and up. Two more breaths. Inhale deeply into that left psoas. And exhale, press feet down, squeeze left buttocks forward. One more deep breath. And then press the feet down and inhale, come back. Make sure the knees are at nine right angles. And then inhale the right arm up. Sorry, inhale the arms up. And exhale, twist to the right. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and breathe. You have the option of straightening the back leg. Okay, so from here, keep breathing, keep the lower belly lifting up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Four, two, and one. Come back to center, reach the arms up, gaze up, and exhale. Option to lift the back leg up and breathe. Okay, and then from here, exhale, come forward, bring the hands down, bring the back foot in, straighten the legs. 
Keep down the chest, pull the shoulder blades down, and you can stay or fall forward. Keep the legs straight, press down into the left heel, squeeze the left buttocks forward. Press the right heel down, send the right inner thigh back, pull the lower belly in and forward, the ribcage in and forward, fold forward. Press the feet down, straighten the legs, and inhale, come up. Bring the arms up, bend the elbows, push the elbows back, pick up the chin for three deep breaths. Keep lifting up through the ribcage, keep lifting up through the chest, push back through the elbows, bring the shoulder blades together. Four, two. And one. Good inhale, come back to center, and exhale, fold. Press the hands down, bring the back foot back, pull the belly in, knees, chest, chin. Knees to the ground, chest and chin come to the ground. Inhale, slide forward into a cobra pose. And exhale, push back. Take five breaths in this downward facing dog. If you need to rest, you're always welcome to bring the knees down and come back. Otherwise, make this down rock a good extension. Push into the hands, widen the shoulder blades, pull the belly in, and curl the tailbone up. If you can, reach the heels back so that they reach the ground by that length. Don't just push into the ground, reach back so that you keep pushing the sit bones up to the sky and you feel that stretch through the back of the legs. You want to actually contract the front of the legs. So squeeze your quads to really lengthen your hamstrings. Take a deep breath from your heels all the way up to the sit bones. And then exhale from your sits bones all the way to the fingertips. Push away with the exhale. One more time, inhale from the heels all the way up to the pelvis. Widen the shoulder blades and exhale from the pelvis all the way down to the hands, press inner hands and outer hands down. Bend the knees, gaze forward and inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift. And exhale, fold over the legs. Bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. So bring all the way back to the heels and lift the arms up. Keep the lower belly in and up. Four, three, two. Keep pressing the heels down. Feel the thighs working, the glutes working. And one, press into the heels and lift up. Interlace the fingers together, reach up through the hands, and then exhale, laterally stretch to the right. Half moon, four, five. Press down into the feet. Feel the length through the whole left side. Four, four. Can relax the head and keep stretching away through the left side. Four, three. Keep the arms strong and straight. Squeeze the elbows together, the wrists together, and pull away. Four, two. And one. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Keep that leg and exhale to the other side. Four, five. Keep pressing the feet down, feel the glutes lifting up to the kidneys, and the kidneys lifting up to the floating ribs, and the floating ribs lifting up to the chin. Four, three. Keep the arms straight, squeeze the elbows together, the wrists together. Four, two, and use the left hand to pull the right arm to the left. And one, inhale, come up with that length. Gaze up. Reach up through the arms and exhale, hands go back, back bend, four, five. Keep pressing the feet down, belly in and up, four, four. Lift the pubis up, the ribs up, the chest up, four, three. Squeeze the arms together and push back with the fingertips, four, two. And one, inhale, come back up and exhale, arms to the heart center. Close your eyes. And take a moment just to be here with your heart, with your heartbeat. Deepen your breath, keep the engagement of the body. Keep pressing down into the feet to feel the legs 
contracting to fill the pelvic floor, lifting up, lift up through the back of the skull, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale deeply from your feet all the way up to the crown of the head, keeping the ribcage closed. Open the mouth and exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Inhale deeply. Last one. Keep the integrity of your stance. Stand up tall. Bring your arms by your sides, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Inhale and open up one arm, one leg to the back of the mat. Bring the feet parallel to the short sides of the mat. So turn in a way that you can still see me basically. Press down into the feet, pull the belly in, lift up through the chest. Hands to the waist. Inhale, pick up the chin. Pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, keep the lower belly in and up as you fall forward. So think of keeping the back bent as you fall. Maybe you can bring your hands to the ground. You want the hands to come to the center of the feet. So wrists at the same line as the heels. And then from there, inhale, straighten the arms, gaze forward and exhale. Maybe you can fold forward, bend the elbows and breathe, four or five. If you cannot come this low, it's fine to stay higher up or to even keep the hands on the hips. Four, four. You want to keep the legs straight and press down to the outer feet. Four, three. Feel the thighs catching your weight. So really bring the weight forward for the kneecaps to lift up and the thighs to contract. Four, two. And really think of uncurling the tailbone up and pulling the belly in, reaching the belly button away from the pubis towards the ground. Floor one. Inhale halfway up, straighten the arms, and exhale, press into the feet, bring the hands to the waist. Inhale, come up all the way. And exhale, release. Inhale the arms by the sides. Find an internal rotation of the shoulders. So turn the arms towards the, the palms towards the back and up and then take the arms all the way back and then interlace the hands together. So you want to find that internal rotation of the shoulders just to help opening up the chest, but then you grab the hands normally at the back. So palms together, interlace the fingers, inhale, really push the chest up, feel that opening through the shoulders, pull back through the hands and exhale, fall forward. Same principles, keep the legs straight, press down into the outer feet, and breathe, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, pull back through the hands, push forward through the chest, four, four. Lengthen your breath, four, three. Stay with it, four, two. And one, pull the belly in, and inhale, come up right away, so all the way up. And exhale the hands to the hips. Pick up the chest and turn your right foot to the side. Bend the right knee. We're going to warrior two position. So if you've noticed what happens with warrior two is that we're opening the front hip. A lot of the times because we're gazing forward in warrior two, we're thinking that the back leg is actually open. But as you saw, the legs are just parallel and then we're opening up the front hip. And then from there, bend the knee, pull the belly in, reach up through the chest, pull the shoulders back, and reach down through the shoulder blades. Reach away through the arms, and you have the option of gazing forward or to keep the head relaxed. Or three more breaths. Keep the feet pressing down, feel the left glute working, the right thigh working. Four, two. Really straighten away through the arms, pull the shoulder blades down and reach the back of the crown up to have a long neck. Lateral stretches. So bring your right elbow on top of the right knee and laterally stretch the left side. Relax the head, four or five. Press the left outer foot down, straighten the left leg and straighten the left arm, four or four. Relax the right shoulder blade down the back, but really pull away through the fingertips, four or three. Keep the lower belly in and the chest proud. Four, two, and remember to keep pressing the feet down to feel the lift from the pelvic floor. 
And one, press the feet down and inhale, come up, laterally stretch to the other side. So exhale, the left hand to the shin or higher up and find that stretch through the right arm. Remember to keep the right knee bent, four or five. Pull the belly in, pick up the pubis, pick up the chest, four or four. Pull the left shoulder blade down and straighten the right arm, four or three. Keep the left leg straight, press down to the left outer foot, press down to the right heel, feel the right quad working. And one, press into the feet, pull the belly in and come up, straighten the front leg, bring the back foot in a hair, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Pull the belly and pick up the chest, reach away through the arms, reach forward and exhale, hands to the shin or lower or higher. If you can, you can grab onto the big toe. Reach away through the arms, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, lift up through the chest, four. Keep the left heel pressing down, straighten the legs, four, three. And again, straighten through the arms, pericardium stretch, four, two. And one, press into the feet to inhale and rise up. Good job. Bend the front knee again. And then inhale, straighten, come back to Brasarita, wide legged stance. Front foot turns out and exhale, bend for your warrior. The higher up you are, the easier. If you want to make it hard for you, then bring the legs wider so that the front knee is over the left heel. You'll feel it. You'll feel the left thigh working and the left glute working. Then press down to the right outer foot, feel the right glute working, lift up through the pubis, through the back of the head, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder lifts up, reach away through the arms, four, three, two, and one. Stretches of the side of the heart, so bring the left arm down, and stretch the right side of the heart. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and really reach away. Right outer foot pressing down, right fingertips reaching away. Four, three. Pull the left shoulder blade down the back, relax the head. Four, two. And keep picking up the pubis, the chest reaching away through the arm. And one. Press into the feet, use your deep core, inhale, come back up. And exhale to the other side. Lateral stretch. Remember the legs don't change. Press down to the feet. Feel the legs working. Pick up the pelvic floor and reach away through the left arm. Four, five. Maybe sit a, sit a bit lower if you've lost it. Four, four. Keep the shoulders, um, well, the right shoulder blade down and left shoulder blade reaching towards the fingers. Four, three. Keep breathing. Four, two. And one inhale, come back up. Good job. Straighten the front leg and bring the back foot in a hair. Trikonasana triangle pose. Straight legs, reach up through the chest and exhale, reach forward and reach for whichever height you want to go for. The arms should be straight, so wherever you want to be. Keep the legs straight and keep the arms straight. Four, three more breaths. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Reach the crown of the head forward. Four, two. And one, press into the feet. Activate the legs, activate your deep core, and inhale, come up gracefully. Bend the front knee, and then inhale, come back to center. Bring the feet parallel to the short side of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and exhale, fold forward, we'll keep the hands on our hips. Keep the lower belly in and forward, press down to the outer feet, and pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum, away from the crown of the head. Keep pressing down into the outer feet, and reach your weight forward, feel the knee cuts lifting, the thighs contracting. Keep uncurling the tailbone up, Six bones to the spine. Press into the feet, pull the belly in, and inhale, come up with the strength of your legs and your core. Good job. Bring the heels in. We're going for goddess pose. So uh, toes out, knees in the direction of the toes. Keep your hands to the waist, 
and exhale, bring the hips down, pull the belly in, pick up the chest. Option to stay with the hands on the waist or open up the arms. You can turn the palms up to make it more goddess-like and maybe sit a bit lower for three. Two, keep pressing the feet down with the glutes working. And one, press into the feet and inhale, come up. Bring the feet in, the heels in. Bring the hands down, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and then bring the arms forward. We're coming down to a yogic squat. So start bending through the knees and reaching the hips back. You're going to sit all the way back. If you need to bring your hands to the ground, if you can, come all the way down with the heels on the ground. If you need to, bring your hands down, lift the heels up, and come down with the heels in. Okay, so you can bring the feet a bit closer to find your ideal squat. Bring your hands to the chest, unless you need the support of the hands on the ground. Use your elbows to really push back and bring the chest up proud. Relax the muscles of the face. Inhale deeply from your root to the crown of the head. And open the mouth, exhale out. Pull lower belly in, lift up, inhale deeply. Open the mouth, push more with the elbows. One more time, inhale deeply. Bring your arms forward, elbows in. Pull the belly in, round to the back. Take three breaths here with a really rounded back. So pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, chin in. Four, two, stay here. I'll just switch on the left. Four, one, okay. So from here, bring the arms forward. Keep that rounded spine. Bring the elbows in and bring your weight to the hands. So you want the hands to come forward like 30 centimeters in front of the feet. If they're all the way back, then you cannot really bring weight to the hands. So bring your hands forward, bend the elbows, and round forward. Gaze forward and maybe come up to your tippy toes. You can stay here or lift one foot, maybe lift both feet. Four, five. So play with it, one foot at a time or both. Four, four. You want to keep the back rounded. Four, three. Press into the hands, pull the belly in and up. Four, two. And one. Slowly come back, sit back and bring your feet together. Use your elbows to open up the hips. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and exhale, fold a bit forward. You don't need to go too far. Make sure that you're uncurling the tailbone back. If you're not comfortable here, you can bring your hands back and open up the chest here. Three more breaths. So this open chest, that's what you want, even in the forward fold. You're able to fold all the way down. You want to keep the chest proud. Or two, keep on curling the tailbone back. Keep the hips going into the hips of gets. And one, inhale, come up. Okay, let's open the back of the heart. So bring your chin, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and again, round through the back. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. And keep lifting up through the pelvic floor. Four, two. And one. Keep a strong belly as you lift up. And bring the knees in. Okay, just a bit of core action before going for back bends. It's important to keep that strong core whenever we're opening up the heart. Otherwise, we'll collapse into the lumbar and we want a strong lumbar spine, strong lower back. So from here, we'll bring the hands back to again open up the chest. And with an open chest, with our uh, back sitting all the way to the hamstrings even. So I want to really uncurl the tailbone back and sit forward and pick up the chest. So from that place, walk the feet, the hands forward, come to the fingertips, 
and lift the feet up, four five. You can keep the knees bent. Four four, keep the lower belly in and up. Four three, two, and one. Knees in, feet in, rounding, but keep sitting at the front of your seat. And then exhale and straighten or keep the knees bent. Four five, keep the lower belly in, chest up. Four four, three, two. Okay, come back. Come to the low to your lower back. So lie on your lower back, but keep your legs lifted. Four five. If needed, bend the knees. Four four. Hands on the ground. Four three. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Four two. And one. Come down. Lie back. Okay, so we want to try that one more time and really find a length, a distance from the pubis to the belly button. So really send the pubis towards the feet and pull the belly towards the spine and towards your chin. Keeping the ribcage closed and lifting up towards the chin. So hands down, pull the shoulders to the ears, to the ground, and then all the way away from the ears. So pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Pull the belly in and towards your chin. Bring your chin. Gaze at your feet, bring the legs together, point the feet, and then lift the legs, four, five. Keep your lower back onto the ground, four, four. Pull lower belly in and towards the chest, four, three. Stay with it, four, two. And one, exhale, come down. Okay, take a deep breath. We'll do a last one where we transition. So just follow what I'm saying. Bring your hands back. Uh, next to the hips, press the lower back onto the ground, pull the lower belly in and towards the chin, pull the shoulders down towards the ground and away towards the sacrum. Feet together, point the feet, bring the chin in, inhale, feet up, chin up, chest up, and exhale, come up to your high boat, and then bring your feet down, bring your weight forward, and if you need to use the hands, otherwise use your lower belly, reaching it up, and your flexibility to press onto the feet and come to sit it. Pick up the chest, so come to a low squat sort of situation. So bring the knees together, pull the belly in and up, pick up the chest, and exhale, we'll twist. So bring your right hand to the left thigh to help you bring the left hand to the right side of the body. And use your arms to pull the left shoulder back and open up through the chest. Four, three, if needed, bring a hand to the ground. Four, two, keep opening up through the shoulder, gaze towards the back. And one, inhale, come back to center and switch sides. So you can use your left arm against the outside of the right leg and bring your right arm to your left waist. Find a length through the lower back and exhale, twist to the right. Keep the lower belly in and lift up. Four, three, pull the shoulder blades down. Gaze back, four, two. Keep squeezing the knees together, the feet together. Four, one, inhale, come back to center. Good job. Bring your hands down and then we'll hop back. So pull the belly in, keep the feet onto the hips, knees onto the chest and we want to bring weight forward and kick back. If it's too much, then just bring one foot back and then the other into plank. Otherwise, try to kick up and back. And then inhale forward and exhale, push back. Good job. Inhale, come forward and lie down. Exhale, slowly come to your mat. Arms by the sides, Shalabhasana. Bring the legs together, press the tops of the feet down. Pull the lower belly in and forward. If you want to manually pull your belly forward. So you want to lie on top of your lower belly and pull everything else forward. That helps you to lengthen the lower back. So inhale, keep the feet together, press the tops of the feet down, reach the chin forward and lift the chin up for three. Press the hands onto the ground, the feet onto the ground. Activate the glutes. Four, two. 
and one. Exhale, calm down. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Bring the elbows in. Cobra pose. So straighten the legs, press the tops of the feet down, pull the belly in and forward. And then from here, we'll lift the hands off the ground and again, bring the chin forward and the chin up. No hands, four, five. Press the feet down, shoulders up, shoulders back, four, four. Chin forward, chin up, four, three. Keep pressing the feet down, activate the glutes, four, two. And one, slowly come down. Take a breath. We're going for one more. This time we'll start without the hands and then when we find our limit, we'll bring the hands to the ground to help. So straighten the legs, feet together, press the tops of the feet together, pull the lower belly in and forward, bring the chin forward and bring the chin up. No hands, inhale, come up and exhale, pull belly in and forward, come a bit higher up, Inhale, and then maybe use the hands to push. Four, three. Elbows in, chest up. Four, two, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. And one, exhale, calm down. Okay. Bring your elbows under the shoulders. Sphinx pose. If this is not comfortable, then bring your elbows further to the front. This makes it more accessible. Otherwise, elbows under the shoulders. Press the feet together onto the ground. Pull the belly in and forward, and use your chin again to first come forward, and then reach up. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down on the back. You can gaze at your nose tip. Four, five. If this is too easy, then straighten the elbows. Four, four. Keep pressing the feet down, Activate your glutes. Four, three. Keep lifting the floating ribs towards the chest. Four, two. And keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back, and the inner shoulder blades together, pushing forward. Four, one. Exhale, slowly come back. Slowly lie down. You can lie your forehead on top of your forearms. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and take a moment to just notice how you're feeling. We'll now go for a couple of shoulder openers. So bring your right arm to the right, and bring your left hand to the ground next to your left shoulder. So I'll do my other side so you can see. So left hand next to the shoulder, bend the left elbow. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and then push to come onto your right shoulder. Pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. You might already feel it. If you want more, you can bend the left knee and step the left foot down. And if you want more, you can also bring the right foot to the ground and bring the knees together. And in case you need more, you can bring your left foot to a figure four and pull more. It's a shoulder stretch. So keep pulling the shoulder blades down the back, keep opening the heart. You can relax the head. Make sure that the back of the neck is long. Okay, so from here, wherever you are, you're going to reach the left arm forward and press onto the ground to reach away. So you'll feel a different kind of stretch onto the shoulder. So instead of going back, we're reaching the right shoulder away from the legs. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, relax the head, take a deep breath into the right shoulder, and exhale through the mouth. Okay, bring the hand back, slowly use the support, and come out of the pose as slowly as you got into it. No rush. Even if you're with the initial variation, take your time. Bring your um, left arm away, straight, and 
Bend your right elbow, pull the shoulder blades down the back and push to come to rest onto your left shoulder. Make sure that the shoulder blades are down the back and you can relax the head. And then from here, you have the option of bending the right knee, maybe bending the left. Take your time, maybe this side will feel that different. So go for your variation on this side. First pressing onto the left hand, pulling the shoulder blades down the back and breathing. And then reach the right arm straight away from the left shoulder. Pull the shoulder blades down and breathe into the left shoulder. Keep the lower belly in and up. Keep the head relaxed. Good, and then bring the hand back, press onto the hand and slowly come out. Very slowly. Make it a challenge to make this as slow as possible. Then press onto the hands and come to hands and knees. Anahata is also known as puppy pose. Anahata is the heart chakra, the heart energetic center. So we want to bring the arms like a forearm forward where they were for cobra, for uh, sphinx. And then you push the hips back and the chest towards the ground, chin forward. So different options. You can rest the forehead on the ground, but keep reaching forward to the hands, wide and shorter blades, and push the chest onto the ground. Even if your head cannot get onto the ground, push the chest onto the ground. It depends on your shoulder mobility. So work with what you have. Otherwise, forehead on the ground. If you want to go deeper, chin on the ground. And if you want to go deeper, reach forward through the hands and push the chest onto the ground. Keep the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the shoulder blades together and push your heart to the ground. Keep your hips over the knees. Pull the belly in and forward, the ribs in and forward. From here, we'll bring the fingertips on the ground, pull the belly in, straighten the arms, and then round the back, pull the ribs in, and come up with a rounded back. We'll come down one more side, one more time, keep the fingertips on the ground, and bring your forehead, your chin, or your chest to the ground. Keep the arms straight, your shoulders should be feeling this. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, the shoulder blades together, reach the chin forward, pull the belly in, breathe into your heart. Open the mouth, exhale. Two more breaths, inhale. From your heart, exhale. One more, inhale. Pull belly in, round the back. Bring your fingertips towards your knees, one hand and then the other, and then come to rest onto child's pose. Keep your knees shoulder width apart for this child's pose to allow your chest to stay long. So you can keep reaching forward through the hands and back through the hips and turn this into a back and child's pose. If you bring your knees together, then it becomes too much of a forward fold, and we want to keep the back bends for now. Relax your forehead and take five deep breaths. You can close your eyes and stay present. Okay, pull the belly in and come up to hands and knees. We'll come to uh, lie on our back. So come all the way around and lie down. Open up your feet, mat with distance apart and send your hips towards the heels. So open up the feet, pull the belly in, press the hands down, bridge pose, bring your chin in. Reach the pubis towards the chin, so posterior pelvic tilt. Reach your pubis towards your chin, and then reach the hips up. Press onto the hands, press onto the feet, reach chest to chin or thigh. 
Keep pressing the feet down, feel the glutes activating and reach the knees away from you. Four, four. Keep the rib cage close, the chest towards the chin. Four, three. Pull the shoulder blades towards your sacrum and the shoulder blades together. Four, two. Okay, to come down, come first with the upper back, then the middle back, and then the lower back to touch the ground. Option to repeat the same or go for wheel pose. We're already warm for wheel, so you can at least try. Hands next to the ears, elbows in. First, press onto the feet, pull the belly in, push and bring the head onto the ground. Walk the hands next to the ears, push and lift up. Four or five. Maybe you stay with the head on the ground. Four, four. If you're up, try to straighten the arms and to push the chest forward. Four, three. Then chin towards the feet. Four, two. Keep pressing the feet down. Cool belly. Okay, calm down. Come to the crown of the head. Option to come back up. Inhale and reach up. Four, five. Option to go back to bridge pose or to rest. Four, four. If you're up, you can straighten the legs. Four, three, pull the belly in and keep the chin towards the chest. Four, two, push the heart open. And one. Okay, last one. Head to the ground and then maybe inhale and come up to wheel or bridge pose or rest. Four, five. This time, if you want to, walk the hands towards the feet. Four, four. Keep the chin going towards the feet. Press onto the hands. Four, three, pull the belly in. Press into the feet, activate the glutes. Four, two, keep your lower belly in. Four, one, slowly walk the hands away and come down. Bring your hands to your knees and press your knees down with the hands, push the hands up through the knees. So there's this battle going on within, between feet and knees. Push and resist. Breathe into the lower belly, lengthen the lower back. And exhale, reach the seat bones away from you, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale into the lower back, push the lower back onto the ground. And exhale, push knees up, push knees down. Okay, last one, inhale. Really lengthen your lower back. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Open up the arms to the sides. You can find cactus arms or arms in a T. Bring your hips to the right and the knees to the left and twist. If your knees come to the ground, you can use the left hand on top. If the legs are higher up, it's fine. Just keep opening up through the chest. Pull the shoulder blades down. Pull the belly in. Inhale all the way up. And exhale through the mouth. Bring the knees closer to the chest and then bring the knees back to center. Bring your hips to the left, knees to the right. Again, stay higher up with the knees or take them to the ground and use the right hand on top. Pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale, open the mouth, exhale, lengthen the lower back. Relax the muscles of the face, bring the knees back to center. Hug your knees, maybe bring your forehead to the knees, pull the shoulder blades down, reach the six months away from you, inhale. And exhale through the mouth, extend the legs, extend the arms, release. Shavasana. You can bend the knees and bring the knees together to comfort your, to comfort your lower back. Or if you're comfortable with the legs straight, just allow your attention to rest on your heart and allow your breath to be natural. Observe what happens, what feelings come up, what thoughts come up. And make sure that the body is relaxed, the body is still, and you're just observing from far to get the feedback that the heart might have to give. Relax and observe.
perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see us, they know exactly how it should be done. Gently. Gently bring your awareness back to your body, back to your heart, back to your brain. Bring all the way into your heart. And open the mouth and exhale out. Bring all the way to your toes, to your fingers. And then exhale, start moving hands, feet, head, arms, legs whole body. Take your time to stretch, wake up, and one, one minute we'll be in a safe position. So take your time, listen to your body and move and stretch to finally find a safe position. When you're sitting up straight, make sure that your lower back is long. Make sure that your chest is cramped. And bring your hands to the center of your chest. Take a deep breath into your heart. Open the mouth and exhale out. And pass together to heart center. Allow your head to bow down to your heart. Take a moment to appreciate your journey in life. Everything you have, everything that is. Good job, everyone. The love inside me honors and celebrates the love, the grace inside you. Namaste.